Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I have a quick update for you. Uh, not going to take very long. I'm going to update you on the Bears' season so far. Because the last game that was televised was the uh, game where we beat the Lions 49-24. But we also played Tennessee uh, since then, and that game was done off camera because who wants to see us play Tennessee? But as it turns out, that was a very good game. We actually beat Tennessee, as you can see right there above my uh, lovely face. Um, that game nine we won uh, against Tennessee 21 13 was a very good game I'm surprised we won because they uh, the Tennessee Titans were good that year and also this means that while we did lose to the Eagles but in real life won the game we were at that point because of that and then we won every other game that we should have won um, and lost every other game that we should have lost so at that point, we were one game behind the real-life Bears in what the record would have been. Um, the Bears actually finished 9-7. and seven. And because we had lost to the Eagles, but in real life had beaten them, we were on a pace to be 8-8. Eight and eight. But now we're back on a pace to be 9-7 and seven because we did uh, the Bears did lose to Tennessee in real life in 2008. And in Stratomatic here, we beat them 21-13. Um, so... This is the statistics through nine games. We are five and four. We've scored uh, 213 points and allowed 198. Um, you can see the comparison there between Kyle Orton and Grossman. Uh, overall, our passing percentage as a team, uh, passing is 50%, but the interception percentage is nice at 1.64% overall. Um, so uh, Grossman is passing at only 47%, but he's actually really playing better overall because of the yards per completion as compared to uh, Orton. So uh, let's, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then you've got the rushing statistics. Uh, I've been trying to, uh, you know, filter in some of the other running backs a little more to take the load off of uh, Forte as much as possible. But he's still far and away um, outrushing everybody. So he's got 140 attempts for 666 yards and seven touchdowns. Um, and then you can see the other running backs, McKee, Wolf, Kevin Jones, Adrian Peterson, <clears throat> and then uh, Kyle Orton. So he had two rushes for four yards. There's the pass receiving. You got Greg Olson is so far our leading receiver with Devin Hester behind him, but far behind him. Um, although we probably will be use, utilizing the flankers and split ends a little more now because I'm starting. Um, in most games now, I'm going to start um, Grossman over Orton um, because, I mean, Orton was just playing horrible. I mean, even games we won, we were only barely winning with Orton. So there's the uh, there's the kicking, Robbie Gould, 26 of 26, which is, you know, he's going to be 100%. Um, and he's made 9 of 11 field goals. Uh, Maynard has a 42.47 punting average yards per punt. Um, kickoff returns, you got Manning there and Hester, Hester on the punt returns. So overall, we've allowed 2,418 yards, 1,773 of those yards through the air and only 645 on the ground. And we have 13 interceptions and two fumble recoveries and 12 sacks. So overall, there you go. That's what we're doing. Um, the next game will be on uh, Sunday, the um, 29th, I believe it would be. Yeah. The next game will be Sunday, the 29th of March, and that's going to be against Green Bay in Green Bay. You don't want to miss that game. But, yeah, here are the statistics again. Here's the, um, what we're, you know, here's how we have done so far through the schedule. Um 
And I just wanted to give you guys that update and let you know because we did play Tennessee and that was off camera. So we got the Green Bay game coming up on Sunday, March 29th. So uh, you definitely want to tune in for that. But for right now, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.